Hello and welcome to this Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you are going to learn how you can make a marker lens in Lens Studio. All of the resources that I am using in order to make this lens will be down in the description below. And yeah, let's create. How you can make a marker lens in Lens Studio. The easiest way to make a marker lens is using a template. Go to the Templates tab on the Lens Studio home interface. Then search for marker and open this file. Once you open the template, this is what you will see. You will see that an image is being tracked and a 3D object is on top of that image. You, you can use your own images as markers. To do this first, we will need an image that you are using as a marker. You can change the image that's being tracked by clicking on the image marker edit me in the objects panel. To actually add your image as an image marker, go to resources, add new resource, image marker, and then in the image marker, add your own image. You can see that your image is being added as an image marker. To change this, we go to our image marker edit me and where it says marker, we drag and drop our own logo. Image is changed. To test this out, we will now change the preview. Here, you can take a video of whatever logo that you are using as an image marker and add it as a preview. Click on the image marker on top, click on from files, then select a video of your image marker so that your preview is seen. Give this a second to open and then you will be able to see this on top. Now you can see that our 3D object is tracked to the image that we just added. Video, you can see that Lens Studio is showing you a hint. To change the image that Lens Studio or Snapchat is searching for as the marker, we go to the orthographic camera click on magnifying hint and change the preview texture here. I'm going to click on this, add a new resource, import file and select our logo image and click on OK. Now you can see that Lens Studio is searching for our custom image. If I go back to my marker video, you can see that it finds this logo and the 3D object is tracked to the image marker. Next, I will change the objects that are tracked to our image marker. First, I will delete the 3D object that is already available. You can add effects to your logo right here. You can see that there are a bunch of options in the marker prefabs. To add any of these effects to your marker video, just drag and drop it under image marker. Here you can see if I reset the preview, that a door opening animation happens on top of the logo. You can play around with the other effects here as well. Now, as I don't want this effect, I can close or delete it. We will add objects to be tracked to this image marker. Now, I'm going to show you how you can track images to your image marker or how do you track images to the logo that you've added. To do that, first, Select 
the image marker edit me then go to objects add a new object and image object now you can see that your image is added right here next i'm going to change the texture of this image you can add any texture for the image that you would like i'm going to select this image right here you can select any image of your liking now we have added our image but our image is now covering our logo to change this click on the move button right here or click on the w key on your keyboard i'm going to move this to the right and move this up um, you can also move this a little higher you can check where your image is by navigating here this image is also quite big for my liking so to change this where it says scale click on the uniform scale and you can change the size i'm going to change the size to about 20 maybe about 10 and then you can reposition this now you can see that our image is being tracked to our video next we will see how we can track a text object to our image to add a text object go to objects add new object and click on text object here you can change the text to whatever you would like i'm going to change this to your logo then you can also change the position of your text i'm going to keep it at the bottom right here and you can also change the size of this i'm going to make the size 100 you can also add dynamic text to this and perform any other text transformations that you would like lastly we'll also learn how you can add or attach 3d objects to this logo to do that i'm going to open the sketchfab software sketchfab is a website where you can download 3d objects from here you can search for anything i'm going to search for alien then click on downloadable here i'm going to search for robot then download any one of these that you would like make sure that when you're downloading you can either download a free 3d object or a paid 3d object i'm going to download this 3d object scroll down and click on download 3d model i'm going to download the glb version of this and hit download once this is downloaded you can import this into lens studio by clicking on resources add new resource import file and importing your 3d object you can select whatever settings you want right here and click on import if you want to learn more about 3d objects in lens studio you can refer to this tutorial right here a link to this tutorial will also be in the description down below so do check it out next to add the 3d object first expand the 3d object then the last object that you see in your 3d object a 3d model drag and drop this under image marker you can see that this object is really really big we will then change the scale of this i'm going to make this as 20 maybe it's still a little bit big so i'm going to make this 15. you can make this and change this however you'd like it 
you can see that our object is added. I'm also going to make this appear a little bit higher. You can also change the rotation of this by clicking on the E key on your keyboard or clicking this tool right here. You can change the rotation, angle, anything that you would like. You can test this lens by clicking on the send to Snapchat option. And yeah, this was how you can make your own custom image marker lens in Lens Studio. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.